Hey guys, Jake, Jake Hoback Knives. Another edition of what's coming out of the Hoback shop. Got this A15 done just today, just actually a few minutes ago. It's a uh, small collaboration, short run with Alpha Hunter Tactical Design. It's uh, based on my A15, but um, basically just let Alpha Hunter uh, pick the colors and the materials. We decided to go a bolster on one side, solid tie on the other. Um, went with lightning strike carbon fiber in there. My new backspace, titanium backspacer with a lanyard slot. I've um, seen a couple of these probably go out of the shop lately. But this one has got the orange peel and the bronze anno on it, so we figured we'd do a little run. I think we did eight of these, including the one that Chad's got. Um, but yeah, here you go. Uh, 440 screws all around. Two hidden screws for the backspacer underneath the lightning strike. The orange peel is pretty cool. This bronze anno gets darker with the oils from your hand, and then you clean it off and it turns that orange color again. Uh, quarter inch pivot bearing system. Acid stone wash blade. This one's going to uh, one of our boys in camo. So I did a really light logo etch, and let's see if I can actually get it to show up. Just barely. In the right light you can see it, but it's the same color as the etch on the blade, so it's just real faint, kind of a ghost logo. Figured if he's ever going to do any work overseas, it's good to have a at least a partially sterile folder. And uh, something I'd like to mention here, um, it's kind of my ministry. In the inside of the frames on every knife that I do, if you look real close, and I don't know if there's actually enough lighting in here to see it, but just inside the inside of the frame here I do some scripture so if you got a knife for me look in there you'll probably see it I do a different one every time so uh, look it up and uh, go read your Bible be good for you it's good for me so yeah there it is um, see if I can flip this out for you a couple times um, like I showed in the previous video how to flip a hoe back it's pretty simple push from the top of the flipper towards the pivot kinda lock your finger to where it locks that first uh, knuckle and then pull with your second knuckle and what happens is you compress against the detent and then you pull. You get a lot of guys that come up and they're, I don't know if they're just afraid they're going to break it or it's going to fly out of their hand but they just pull. Well it ain't assisted. There's no springs in there so you actually have to use your finger as a spring so I got no problem with this. My wife flips mine and she was flipping them at blade to show all the guys that even a little 100 pound soaking wet redhead can do it. So, all right, guys. Well, hope you like it. You'll see about 80 of these coming out. And then I've got a couple of more batches uh, some A10s, A15s, um, a few fixed blade runs. So, if you want to get on something, just get on my email list, um, jakehobackknives at yahoo.com. Just let me know what you're looking for. Any of my first line fixed blades or folders are the ones that I'm doing batches on. I do not have time to do any customs just for the fact that I'm little over a year out on all my custom stuff so I'm just kind of closing the books on that and uh, trying to focus on this and trying to get some new folder designs um, you'll probably be seeing a Quaken if that's how you pronounce it folder coming out from me here shortly along with a couple of fixed blades just because I enjoy the design I like that Japanese kind of samurai sword look so all right guys uh, look forward to some new videos the uh, prototype uh, Kawaken that I'm going to be doing, if I can work it out, is going to have a brand new bearing system. So stay tuned, guys. It's going to blow your mind.